everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm striking while the iron is hot and the impossible card that I shared four or five days ago is just doing amazingly and you are loving it and I cannot believe the amount of messages I have received with you showing me your versions and I have loved it. I've had quite a giggle with some of you and it has just been really, really lovely. So thank you for that. I appreciate you sending them and keep them coming because I do, I love it. Um, so what I've done, there are so many cool ways to adapt this card. Um, and um, one of the things that I've played around with is this, and I'm calling it the triple twist impossible card. Now I've mounted it on this base piece here, but it's optional and I'll talk you through that through the tutorial. Um, it's just because this has been cut into more times than the original one, which is this one here. This is the one that I shared. Okay, um, this one's quite strong, you know, you, even with that gap there, it holds itself really well. Um, but I just found when I done this one that it's just a little bit more flimsy. Um, however, once you add this kind of banner piece that I've put on the back and this sentiment here, it does start to become a bit stronger. Um, so yeah, that's that one here. I'm using all of the, um, a lot of you will know that I subscribe to Making Cards magazine and this um, April's edition, you got a CD-ROM or a free download with 161 different images and backgrounds, all sorts, it's amazing. I've, I've made so many of them, I've done Facebook Live with them and stuff. So I thought, I the other night I sat down and I fussy cut all of these little bottles and um, I thought it would work really well on this particular style because you have these three pieces that stick up as opposed to the one on the one that I showed you. And then I've just cut them down to the height that I needed them. You could put something over the back of that if you didn't want it, but you don't see it. The idea is that's what they see, obviously. Um, and yeah, and I just thought it worked really well as a masculine card. It's really fun, it's interactive, and guys like those kind of things. So that's why I've done it. So yeah, so this one here, I'll share all the links to their magazine because they do do an online digital version as well. And I, yeah, I do believe they do stock in some of the American stores, Barnes and Noble, I think one of them is and stuff. But anyway, have a look, have a look online and you'll be able to find it all out there. But like I said, you can get it online and you can print off the downloads. So, this one, it fits perfectly. It comes in on the envelope punch board as the A8 size. So it's five and a half by eight total. So here I've just made an envelope. If you flip it over, I plan to write my sentiment on the back. So I'll probably put happy birthday on that piece there and then slide it in that way. That way it will just then um, hide, um, sorry not hide, it will stop all of your lovely decoration getting caught on the envelope. Okay, so again, then they'd open it up, they'd obviously see the message first if that's the case, and then there they have this cool card. I love them, they are just so much fun to make, and you guys are enjoying them so much as well. So, leave that to one side. Okay, so this time you're gonna need a base piece that is seven and a half by five inches. So it's just a little bit bigger in terms of length um, to the other one that we've done. But you need that extra bit of length to create the three pieces that are gonna pop up. So I've got my template here, okay, and I've just gone along here. This I will take a picture of and put on my blog as well because I know a lot of you do like a template and you liked the other template that I'd done. So um, starting with this side here with your ruler and your pencil, you basically want to mark at every one and a half inch. Okay, so just a little pencil mark, just lightly, because you'll rub this out. So one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. Okay, so you can't really see that there. There you go, you can just see the little markers that I've done. Then on the side, just like before, you just want to do halfway marks. So this is two and a half, because it's a five inch piece. And again, rotate the whole bit round, and again. So we've marked on this side, here, and here. So now on the side we haven't marked, turn it so it's facing you. And then you are gonna mark, I'm just turning this one around here. You're gonna do every three quarter. Sorry, first of all, you're gonna do three quarters. Okay, so just a little mark there. Then from that, you're gonna mark at every one and a half again. So you'll be marking at, if I do it that way, then I know where I am. So yeah, three quarters, then at two and a quarter, then at three and three quarters, five and a quarter, and six and three quarters. So you will have a three quarter piece on each edge there. And that is what gives you 
metal and lay it side back out. Gives you this piece here and this three quarter piece here. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. So, don't knock that over. So now we've done that, what you want to do is just join up that middle, so the halfway, the two and a half and the two and a half, just join again lightly with your pencil. I'm using black card so I can see it even when I do it very lightly. But I just put a pencil mark through the middle there. Then I'm using my grid underneath here, that three quarter inch mark, I'm going to line it up with the line on my mat here. And then if you've got a tea ruler, you wouldn't need to do it like this, but basically you would just want to do a nice pencil mark. So I'm just lining up my ruler so it's in line with the same um, line under my grid, so that one matches up with this line here. So I'm just putting my ruler against those two lines, and that way I know I'm getting a nice straight line, and all you want to do is just do it from the middle line down to that pencil mark. Exactly the same way that I've done the other one. Okay, so then I'm going across to the next line, because now it's all lined up with my grid, and I can just, again, join that one up. That one. I'm going to get a tea ruler because it's only now since doing this particular style card that it would come in very handy. And the last one there. Okay, so you can see that I've just done those like so. Then rotate it and do exactly the same thing. So this time we've got that first one and a half one there. I'm just lining that up with my grid underneath. And again, making sure your ruler is nice and straight. Just do all those pencil marks there. Okay, okay. So now we can cut up all of those lines just the same way that I did before. So very neatly, because this is all on show, you just want to cut up each one just to that middle pencil mark. Okay, and make sure you get right up to the pencil mark. Okay, so that's that side all done, and then rotate it round and just go along and cut up all of those other marks. Okay, so now that's all done. Now again, exactly the same way, you just want to grab your ruler and just score the score line. Not from the very end, you just want to start from that three quarter inch one and go to the other three quarter inch one. So, just like so. And this will just help when you go to fold it. So all I've just done there is I've just scored starting from here, so come in where that three quarter inch one is here and just score all the way just to that one, so just that middle bit there. Now we can just go and rub out all of those pencil marks, so very carefully just go around and get rid of all of any pencil mark that you can see. Okay, so now you should have it all ready like this. So now we're going to do the three kind of twists to create that um, twisted look. So first of all, this one here, you're going to twist and fold it under, like so. Okay, so it should be coming out this side now. Fold this one up towards you, and that one will lie down flat. Okay, so that's the first twist. Then the next one is going to be, miss that one, go to this one, and again, twist it under and then you've created your next one. And then the last one, again, twist under, and you will have that one. And there is your three twist um, impossible card. <laughs> so, as you feel it now, you can see what I mean, it's very flimsy. So, we we'll decorate it all up, and then you can decide whether or not you want to add it onto this base panel. So I have pre-cut one. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not again. See how it goes. And this one measures eight by uh, five and a half. Yeah, eight by five and a half, because of course that's your envelope size. Okay, so now, decoration. So I am, again, decorating it slightly differently. I've gone and cut from a sheet of one of the download um, downloads from the Making Cards magazine, all these little pieces here. And these measure, if I remember, I think it was one and a quarter by two and a quarter. Where did I put my other ruler? Okay, so yeah, one and a quarter by two and a quarter. I was right. So they are going to go in the three, in the six, sorry, areas like this, okay? And then I've cut two smaller ones, which are what, um, half an inch by two and a quarter, and they will go perfectly in those ones, giving you this nice black um, little border there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get those all stuck down. 
Okay, so there we have that all. So already it's starting to get stronger now because it's got that second layer. Um, so then I have fussy cut more of those um, little bottles of, different bottles of alcohol. And this is an Oh Yeah sentiment, which again is from that, or from the principles, and it comes with the cats. So if you get it, I'll just see here. I know my mum's gonna be really pleased about this as well, because she subscribes to the same magazine. So straight away, I know she'll do this. Um, yeah, it was the Oh Yeah, which was above him. But I really liked the Oh Yeah, It's Your Birthday. So um, I've cut that, mounted it on some card, and just fussy cut that. Or you can print it onto card as well. So that one is gonna go in the middle. Now, I said I cut these down, so that's they're basically now just there for you to kind of attach anything you want to. So I'm now trimming these, so there's about three quarters of an inch um, from the two outer ones. Um, again, depends how you're decorating it. And then this middle one here, I can't remember how far down I came with that. Yeah, it's about half an inch, just a little bit higher, like so. So I just hacked right into that card, but it's still gonna look great. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue just on the bottom there, and just attach that, just so you can't see any of that black behind it. It's all in place. Then to keep it within its shape before I attach them, I've got this piece here. So these are three pieces, I've made this up myself, and again, I keep putting my wooden ruler somewhere, it's my favorite one. I don't mind the metal one, but I tend to not grab that one all the time. Okay, so the black piece measures um, seven. Then the white piece is six and a quarter, and then the pattern piece on top is five and a half. That's the lengths of each. The bottom black one in width is one and a half, the white one is one and a quarter, and the pattern one is one. All those measurements be in my blog. But basically, you just stack them on top. I've put some foam in between the white and the black, and just put some little flag um, cuts on the end there and that is going to go on the back here and as soon as you attach that it does then start to make the, the card stronger um, so that piece is going to go on the back like so then I've just grabbed a stamp from my stash it's your birthday die cut it and then matted it with a black frame that one is going to go here and then I have die cut this little star and again die cut the star in the same pattern paper that's gonna go here. And then I've just got some of these little embellishments and they're gonna go here. Now, obviously they can't go there if you don't have the backing, but they could easily go on that piece then there, but the weight of it then might drop it down. So that's why I think this is gonna be a good shout for when you start to cut into these cards a bit more than just the, the um, the one or two times. So I'm gonna go and get all these bits stuck okay, down. Okay, so those pieces are now all stuck down. So you can see how that now does hold itself, but it still, to me, just has a little bit more of a flimsier feel, even though I'm using 280 GSM black card, so it is very, very strong card. Um, but play around with it, see how you, you know, you feel making yours. So now I've just gotta add all my little bottles. So I just basically done a little cluster of three on each side. So I've got the rum, the liquor, and let's do the gin on that side. So they will go on that one there. And then on this side here, I think I'm gonna have the tequila, the scotch whiskey, and the cognac, because I've used those two then already. So again, I'm just gonna get those ones all stuck okay, down. There you go. So you don't wanna to go too high, because otherwise it won't fit in that envelope size, because obviously now when those lie flat, they don't come above this top line here. Okay, so um, yeah, I absolutely love it. The, like I said, the designs for this are endless. There are literally so many fantastic um, creations being made at the moment that I've seen. So yeah, you can um, make them perfect for any occasion, but I think they are really good for, for guy cards as well. So I'm now gonna attach mine onto this piece here, like so. And I just think that really makes it pop as well, but it's entirely up to you, okay? So like I said, this piece measures eight by um, five and a half. <laughs> I keep forgetting my measurements. Uh, eight by, yeah, eight by five and a half. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that all stuck down. So all you need to do is just put glue on the bottoms of obviously those pieces. Yeah, it. How cool is that? 
So I'm going to put my message on the back. I might put another white piece of paper there. Again, put Happy Beth in and I've got room to write it. But you might want to not put pattern paper there or do something and write your sentiment on that bit. But I thought I liked the thought of that being quite decorative and not seeing people's messages and stuff. So, um, But with this one that I made, that one, for example, you can write your message on the back because obviously it's a, it's a, you know, a larger area and you won't see that. So like I said, loads and loads of different variations. So I've got my envelope already that I made up earlier and I'm just going to flip it over like I said because that way you won't damage any of that lovely decoration. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the triple twist in, um, impossible card. Um, I can't lie, there might be another style again. I seem to be uh, really loving it and you guys do too. So please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.